16 bucks. <laughs> I feel every time I cross the bridge. New Jersey resident Oliver Fernandez takes the George Washington Bridge into Manhattan at least twice a week for work. And when he learned he might get hit with an extra 11 to $14 on each trip into the city, his reaction? Nah. Under New York City's proposed plan, any driver entering or remaining within the Central Business District, a cordon area stretching from 60th Street in Midtown to Battery Park, will get charged a once daily extra toll, but only for those entering New York City via the George Washington Bridge, not via the Lincoln or Holland Tunnel. A concept first tested in places like London, Stockholm, Singapore and Milan. The stated goals of the local officials include reducing congestion, improving air quality, creating a sustainable capital funding source for transit. During COVID, with, with, our, with all of our transit systems obviously under tremendous strain because people are not riding them, uh, the government, federal government gave $14 billion to the MTA to help them out. Congressman Josh Gottheimer and Bill Pascrell rallied New Jersey commuters late last week saying they were unfairly targeted. Early indications are that it'll just be the GW Bridge and you can imagine what that will do. It'll force people who would normally go over the GW to go to the Holland or the Lincoln. So it'd be a complete and total mess. If you're coming on the Henry Hudson or if you cross other crossings in from the boroughs into New York, you will not get hit with this tax. Congressman Gottheimer calling it a sick joke. And with other New Jersey legislators, wrote U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg to stop any further approvals. The plan is currently under environmental assessment. It's not fair for us. What people don't realize in, about, about public transit in northern New Jersey is that in some places it's great. And other places, there's no mass transit options. They have to drive. According to the Port Authority, nearly 52 million vehicles drove across the GW Bridge in 2019. Everybody going over the bridge, you know, isn't a doctor or a lawyer or, or a, a high-scale Wall Street executive. You know, a lot of these folks work in the service industry. They, you know, they, they don't have that level of income. They could bear, you know, they're carpooling to survive the bridge toll. I mean... I don't know how they're going to possibly get through another 14 bucks on top of that. What are we going to do? We don't work in the government. Let's speed up uh, the process to bring congestion pricing into play so we can have additional revenue to protect mass transit for all New Yorkers. Any scheme that, um, that discriminates against New Jersey commuters will not be supported by me or by our administration. Uh, and God willing, that's something we can work out peacefully, and I'm very optimistic we can. What is usually a happy marriage between the two states might be in need of some serious couples counseling. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.